The Territory Government has followed the lead of southern states and banned the sale of a synthetic cannabis commonly known as chronic. The product causes a similar high to the real drug, but it's almost impossible to detect and the side effects are unknown. The legal high. These synthetic drugs are popular and completely legal in the Territory, but not for much longer. Imitation cannabis will soon be banned. The Chief Minister says, synthetic or otherwise, it's still a drug. As well as the health issues, there are very real issues in terms of workplace safety and uh, even people behind the wheel of the car. Uh, I'm not going to take a step backwards in terms of the fight against drugs. As these drugs come onto the market, we will ban them. Sold from five retailers in Darwin, the product doesn't come cheaply. The most popular brand, Chronic, costs $100 for three grams. Despite the price, retailers say the synthetic drug is a big seller and it's not just the high that customers are looking for. A lot of people come in to um, use these um, um, legal drugs for sleeping, um, yeah, if they've got insomnia and uh, other people come in as well with arthritis. Are you worried that people might start using real drugs instead if they can't have access to these synthetic drugs? Yes, yes I think I do, yeah. So yeah, synthetic drugs, I think it's, uh, it's, it's better than the real drugs. But with effects unknown and chemicals almost impossible to detect, the fakes could be more dangerous than the real thing. Well, you can still purchase synthetic drugs up until August, you wouldn't want to hold on to them after that. Your fake high could cost you as much as $5,500 or two years in prison. Meanwhile, the Attorney General's come under fire for saying bottle shop staff should use their discretion on the banned drinkers register. International driver's licences can't be scanned properly by the current system. There is mass confusion out there amongst staff uh, in relation to what they can and can't do. They've been told that this is a legislation, yet the Minister now informs us that you can have a discretion. The government is backing Delia Laurie's calls for common sense to be used while the system is fine-tuned. Almost 50,000 IDs have already been scanned since Friday, with 63 people added to the register over the weekend. Amy Davis, Nine News.